creating a transfer operator PostgreSQL sql to elasticsearch in this lesson we are going to create an operator to move data from PostgreSQL sql to elasticsearch using the hook we made previously again the goal here is not to make the perfect operator but just to show you a good example of how to implement a useful transfer operator let's do this first check that the web server and the scheduler of airflow are running now let's open the operator by typing vim airflow plugins Elasticsearch plugin, operators, and Elasticsearch operator. If you take a look at the imports, you may notice that we import base operator, which is a required base class from which your operator must inherit. Then we import the Postgres hook to interact with Postgres SQL database, as well as our own Elasticsearch hook in order to interact with Elasticsearch. Next, we declare a class Postgres to Elasticsearch transfer, inheriting from the base operator. We have two methods, init, which is used to initialize our operator by specifying the expected parameters. So in order to use Postgres to Elasticsearch transfer, we have to pass the SQL query to fetch the data from PostgreSQL, an index where those data will be saved into Elasticsearch, and two connection IDs corresponding to the connections given from the Airflow UI for PostgreSQL and Elasticsearch. The second method is execute, which must be implemented when your class inherits from base operator. It is in this function that the task is executed. So what's going on in this function? First, we instantiate the Postgres hook and the Elasticsearch hook in order to get the connections. Then, to avoid the Airflow worker loading all the data retrieved from the PostgreSQL query into memory, we use a server-side cursor and fetch the rows by batch. So the code here creates the connection and automatically places the query result into a server-side cursor named Postgres underscore cursor. The value iter size sets the number of rows that the client will pull down at a time from the server-side cursor. Finally, we iterate on each row of the batch prefetched in order to JSONify and add them into the Elasticsearch instance by using the method addDoc of our hook. Okay, now we actually need to tell to Airflow that our Elasticsearch plugin has a new component. To do so, close the file and open the init.py file where we reference the objects composing our plugin. Here, as we have done for the hook, we have to import our operator and add it to the operator list. To do so, type from Elasticsearch underscore plugin dot operators Elasticsearch operator import Postgres to Elasticsearch transfer. Now add it to the list Postgres to Elasticsearch transfer. Tap the file and restart the web server and the scheduler to be sure that this modification is taken into account. Now it's time to check if our transfer operator works well. So copy the DAG plugin underscore operator underscore DAG dot py from the Airflow files folder into the folder Airflow slash DAGs. Open it. And as you can see, the DAG is extremely simple. There are two tasks. The first one is OPR transfer, which calls our transfer operator in order to move the data from the PostgreSQL table course.source into the Elasticsearch index sources. The second task prints a message done into the standard output using the bash operator. Before running this DAG, we actually need to create two connections from the Airflow UI, one for Elasticsearch and the other one for PostgreSQL. Since we didn't pass the connection IDs as parameter of our operator, the default IDs are used. Go to admin, connections, create connection ID, Elasticsearch default, host, localhost, and there is no login and password. The port is 9200. Save it and create another connection for Postgres, which is Postgres underscore default, connection type Postgres, host localhost, schema aflow underscore mdb, the login is aflow, there is no password, and the port is 5432. Save it, and it's done. Now let's see what we have into the source table from the PostgreSQL database. Go to Data Profiling, Add a Query, select 
Postgres underscore default and type select from course dot source. Run and we get four rows with two columns, name and activated. For example, we have MySQL, which is activated, and we have S3, which is not activated, and so on. Last but not least, I want to show you Kibana, which is the tool to visualize your Elasticsearch data and navigate through your indexes. So create a new tab, go to localhost with the port 5601. Go to management, index patterns, and as you can see, there is no data yet. Go back to Airflow, Tags, and let's run the plugin operator tag. Refresh, and the operator is running. Refresh again, and it's done. Now, if you go to the graph view and click on the task, view log. You may notice that we have four post requests sent to Elasticsearch corresponding to the number of records we fetched from PostgreSQL. Let's go back to Kibana, refresh the page, and now you can tap the name of the index where we saved our data, which is sources. Click on next step, create index pattern, and your index pattern has been created. So now you can access your data using Kibana. Go to discover, and as you can see, we retrieved the four rows from the PostgreSQL database into Elasticsearch with the exact same values. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Don't hesitate to play with Elasticsearch since it is a very powerful tool. And see you in the next video where we're gonna create the last part of our plugin.